they were an NYT PC. And as you can see by the Type of S, um, the over there probably, or somewhere. Uh, we've got two pipes tonight. Uh, both Mearshams and both Bulldogs. Uh, although they are quite a bit different from each other. First one is this. It's uh, quite quite a skinny shank. Um, but it is well, I'd say it was a I'd say it was a bulldog, although a odd looking one. And in it I am smoking Robert McConnell Majoro. I think. Yeah. No, I'm not it's got no writing on this whatsoever. It's got a strange little stem on it. But it's a very nice mission. Get a good bowl out of that. Come in its own case. Although the case is a bit tatty. Um, I'm going to have a bash at relining some of these, I think. But Smokes well. Uh, just been watching Wolf Valley Boy. Um, and he was saying about um, like people having to stop smoking and whether they could be part of the YTPC and that. Um, personally, I can't see a problem with that. I mean, I'll read out what I wrote to Tim um, and that's it. Said so, uh, Tim, my friend, I don't think the YTPC would turn anyone away because they couldn't smoke anymore. I think it's more likely it would torture them to watch people enjoying pipes and tobacco while they couldn't. Um, Personally, I, <laughs> if I have to, if I had to give up pipe smoking, I know it torture me to watch other people enjoying what I couldn't. But I'm a pipe collector as well, um, so. Maybe I'll just keep on collecting the pipes rather than and the memorabilia. But I can't see. I mean, I know um, Stephen, Cobbett of the Shire, he's worrying about um, his heart rate and stuff like that. Um, but as he said, he. He's got so much out of this um, that he's not sure what he'd do. Um, I'm sure that there, there's got to be other factors to your heart rate being high, apart from smoking. Uh, if you can get your heart rate down using a different method um, 
I don't know. Um, go for longer walks or change your diet or whatever. I, uh, as long as your heart rate comes down and, you know, it might not come to the fact that you've got to give up smoking. But I mean, if you do, you do. But, you know, we won't want to see that. We won't want you to go away. Um, you're such a good friend. Um, even if you weren't smoking, it'd make no difference to me whatsoever. Um, and I, I can only say for myself, but I'm quite sure the rest of the YTPC wouldn't give a monkey's whether you smoke or not. They just love watching you and listening to you. Uh, anyway. That's that pipe. My other Meerschaum Bulldog is a more traditional looking one. Uh, there's that one. Got this light man on. There's that one. And there's that one. That's, this is a more traditional looking one. It's still got no writing on it. Obviously, it's still just got the hole in it, so I've no idea how to date that. It coming its own leather case, which has got a nice velvet line in this one. Um, nothing even written on the case, so. And in this one, I'm smoking Dunhill Aperitif, which is a Balkan blend, well, well English blend, it's got lots of cure in it, um, I mean it's got a bit of everything in it, but it's very nice. Not as good as tree mixture. No, it's very good. This has got more of a, I would say, Cyprian Latakia smokiness rather than the more subtle Syrian Latakia. Um, I actually prefer the Cyprian myself. Um, it hasn't, I mean, you can taste it. It's not overly powerful. But my taste buds are shot anyway, so... Don't listen to a word I say. But anyway... It's a very good blend. I'm enjoying that quite nicely. Well, that's getting on for nine minutes. Um, so there's the two, my two meerschaums for tonight. I might be back with another video in a minute. You never know. All lucky people, ain't you? Anyway, as Simon would say, catch you on the next one.